Hello everyone, welcome to EV Slug. And in this video, we're gonna do a road test of an actual energy cost of a Tesla Model X. This is my 2018 Tesla Model X, a five-year-old Model X with this cold weather in Boston. And it will be very interesting to see what is the actual energy cost and how does it compare with similar sized gasoline car. And the way we'll conduct this test is I will drive it normally every day, commute to my work. And my commute is to office that has both highway and local street. So it should be good representation of average energy consumption. And we'll also take the consideration of the battery phantom draining, which is the energy consumption when it's parked overnight or in my office. Now let's get inside of our car. So we're gonna get started from here. And, and if I convert to distance, you can see 80% that's equivalent to 211 miles. And definitely there's some battery degradation, I think after this five years, but this is what we're gonna test and see what is the actual mile per gallon equivalent on this EV. This is gonna be like a very interesting time. So we'll see like how much it actually cost and for this car. Okay, and now let's go. Okay, now we arrive at the office. And from the screen here, we can see uh, we have 189 miles left. Uh, if I'm gonna convert it to percentage, so this is like 71%. So we drove 14.9 miles and it consumes like 9% of the, the battery. And, and we're gonna capture this and then we're gonna, I'm gonna go to work and then I'm gonna come back and then we'll see um, how much energy it drains. Eight hours later. Now we're back in the car and see the percentage drop to 70%. I think if you look at it, it's like 186 miles. So it's been about eight hours and it dropped like a couple miles. I think this is uh, normal. So now I'm gonna leave and go back to home. Okay, now we are back home and let's take a look. Uh, we have 150 miles left. Uh, let's take a look at the percentage. 60%. So we use 11%. Next, uh, I will repeat this test for the second day and third day driving and capture all the energy cost into a table and we'll do some final calculations. And I capture all those energy cost numbers and I put them in here in this table. And you can take a look, and the commute to the office is around 8 to 9 percent, and the commute back to home is around 11 percent. So this is typical, I think, is mainly because the coming back to home has more traffic, and the phantom drain is roughly around 3 percent of my car. And this is definitely take the consideration of the cold weather in Boston, so the phantom drain is definitely much more than the summer. The use capacity is around 95 kilowatt hour. And plus the five year of this car, and it's roughly around 88% of its max capacity. So if we apply all of them, and we convert this percentage into the kilowatt hour, so that is the number I think you will see now. So that's around like seven, six to seven kilowatt hour to the office, and around like nine kilowatt hour back to the home. And the phantom drain is 2.5 kilowatt hour. So this is basically the total energy consumption of my car. And next, we're gonna convert it to the MPGE, which is mile per gallon equivalent. So we're gonna do some math in here. So the total energy cost among the three days commute is about 56.8 kilowatt hour. And I drove total 98.5 miles. And the total energy cost of my current electric bill that's $0.26 per kilowatt hour. And definitely if you have the solar, the situation will be a little different, but we just use the regular case. And then if we do the math in here, so the total energy cost is about $14.7.
for my three days commute. And if you search online, and the average meat grade gasoline that's about $3.7 per gallon. If we use 14.7 D1 to 3.7, and then we realize that if we use gas and we spend this amount of the money, it's using about four gallon gas. So next, we're gonna look at the final mass, which is calculated MPGE, which is using 98.5 miles and D1, the four gallon of gas. And then we got a final number of 24.6 mile per gallon. Okay, so 20.6 mile per gallon. What's your thoughts on this? And leave comment below and share your thoughts. In my opinion, 24.6 mile per gallon is pretty much the average of large gasoline SUVs. You can find cars in the market, something like a Lexus TX, which is roughly around 20 to 23, right? If you get the plug-in hybrid one, it's gonna be reached 30, which is gonna be better than this one. And similar for the mini one, some of the mini one provide hybrid engine, which is can go up to 30. So the energy cost is not really an advantage during the winter, but toward the end, this is a Tesla. So this is the vehicle you want. So if you want that acceleration, if you want the sleek looking, so there's definitely a lot of advantage for EV compared with the gasoline cars. So definitely leave your comment below and share more of your thoughts. And I will see you in the next video.